So on your packet for 4-7, you can, so in this guy here, you can, if you want to put the learning goals, you can, um, right next to it. And then I would define what locust means. Okay, it's not like biblical locusts where they come and eat all the crops and like devour the city. Okay, like locusts, a set of points that satisfy a given condition. A locust is a, a locust is a or loci a set of points that satisfy a given condition. So you're going to be given some conditions, and really you're trying to find the solution set, and it's in a pictorial form, like in a picture form. All right, so it'd be kind of like me saying, like a, an example might be, um, you know, Carson stands in the middle, and then everyone in the class creates a circle around him, ten feet away. Okay, we would be the locus of points, ten feet away from Carson. Our circle would, because each of us would be ten feet away. That would be a set of, that would be us satisfying a given condition. Okay? All right. That'd be kind of creepy, huh, Carson? We won't do that. All right. So, here's what we're going to do. You guys have your note page. All right? On the front of your note page, kind of looks like this guy here. Right? A set of points equidistance from a point. So, Here's what we're going to do. We have four different situations here, four different conditions. I want you to tell your neighbor what a set of points equidistance from a given point would look like, picture-wise. All right. Hey, um, guys, Maddie's question is a good one. We're not going to get so technical with uh, using compasses on this, okay? We're going to just sketch them in. If you have a compass and you want to use it, you can. But what's this going to look like? Maybe? Yeah, it's just a circle. Okay? So, like, if we said um, a centimeter away, well, we'd have a circle. That would be a centimeter away from that. So, the center point would be, or the dot, the point, would be our center point. Okay? We have a circle. And if it was a centimeter away, since I'm not actually measuring, I'm going to label it one centimeter. Okay? So that satisfies that condition. In this case, I'm saying it's a centimeter away. It doesn't actually tell us that. But set of points equidistance from a given point. Just a circle. All right, so no matter where we're at, if I'm here, I'm the same distance as if I'm here, if I'm here, if I'm here, if this is a perfect circle. Always the same distance. That's our radius. OK. Any questions on that one? All right. Remember, this is your note page. Let's go on to the next one. A set of points equidistance from two points now. Where could you, let's say this was one goal post on a football field, and this is another, another goal post. Where could you stand on that football field that would be equidistance from both of those goal posts? Talk with your neighbor about it. Who thinks they know? Diamond, what do you think? on a straight line between the two points right in the middle. Okay, on a football field we call that what? 50 yard. Yeah, on the 50 yard line. Now as Diamond said, it's a straight line though. So like our football field works except for the 50 yard line will have to go on forever. Okay, that'd be kind of a crazy 50 yard line. Man. It goes on forever. So anywhere, if you're here, if you're here, if you're up here, okay, doesn't matter. Anywhere on that line, you're equidistance from those points. So really what it is, if you were to connect the points, it's a perpendicular bisector of that line. So it's the perpendicular bisector of that line. Now it's easy to think of it if you can kind of picture it like on a football field, goal post, goal post, 50 yard line, but that's just the perpendicular bisector of a line connecting those two points. Good job. Not a lot of people get that. Any questions on it? Okay, let's see if we can get this one. This one's even a little tougher, I think. A set of points equidistance from a segment now. 
from any place. You can be standing anywhere on the segment. Now, so once again, if you if you relate it to this, think back. Let's pretend that's a goal post and that's a goal post. Now you want a set of points equidistance from anywhere on the line between those two goal posts. Talk with your groupies about it. See if you can come up with it. Let me give you the common thing that I saw on a few papers and then talking to a few of you. I've heard, I've heard many of you say it's just this line again. That, don't write that down yet because that's not right. Think of it this way. If I'm right here on this, on this line, okay, and I could be, you say, well, yeah, you're, you're equidistance, but what if I'm here? Right? Am I the same distance from that as if I was here? Now, this distance from here to here is different than this distance from here to here. So the distance from any point on this line has to be equal to our locus. Maddie? Okay, so a parallel line. Okay, so the same distance away. Okay, so I will tell you that you are partially correct. You're close. Now, because this point is the same from there to there, and this is the there to there. Okay, Blake? Yeah, so Maddie's got to start it. What do we need to do to finish it? Yeah. Yeah, good. So Emily, what would that look like? Yeah, it curves. So now if we relate this to our football field analogy, what are we drawing? We're drawing the track. It's the track, man. Right? If you drew, if you... If you had one person stand on one goal post and another person stand at another goal post and hold a string, we could stand anywhere on that string and be equidistant from either side of the track. Everyone picturing that now? That's what's happening there. So it's just kind of this, it's like a track. The same distance away. So the way we'd mark that, like if it was one centimeter away, we'd write one centimeter. And that would mean it would be one centimeter no matter where we're at. It would be one centimeter there, it would be one centimeter here. Okay. So that's from a segment. Now what's the difference between a segment and a line? Grace? Okay, now notice that a line segment, it stops. You can get to the ends. A line, do you ever get to the ends? No. Oh, so the next says a set of points equidistance from a line. I think this is the one that Maddie, your your solution was perfect for. Set of points equidistance from a line are actually two lines that run parallel to that line, equidistance away. So all three of these lines are parallel. So if this is one centimeter here, this would also be one centimeter here. If we're saying one centimeter away. I'm just making up those measurements. But. Notice you can't get to the ends of these lines because they keep going. You're like, oh, I'm almost there. And they're like, nope, it just keeps going. You know, It's like if you've ever had a ball of twine and it falls out of your hand and you're like trying to grab it, and it just keeps going. You're like, Ew, oh, and then you get to the very end when the twine's all unrolled, and then you're like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Not that it's ever happened to me, but if it did, that would be bad. Yes? That could have been a nightmare for that teacher, poor teacher. Yeah, 
For you guys, too. Okay. Any questions on that front? Move to the next side, please. Next side says, is this the same, is this the right one? Is that what you guys have next? No. Set of points equidistance from parallel lines. Tell your neighbor what you think that's going to look like. Okay, someone new, what do you think? Julian. A parallel line that runs right in the middle. Okay, a line that's parallel. That runs right through the middle. That runs right through the middle, very good. Okay, so all three of those are parallel. Has to be equidistance from both. So once again, if this is one centimeter, this would be one centimeter. I think you guys are getting it pretty good. There we go. All right, notice since it's a line, it has to be a line. Okay? All right, we're on our angle now. Maddie, you know it? Isn't it like an angle bisector? And a set of points equidistance from two rays or the legs of an angle. Yeah, that would be an angle bisector. Okay, so an angle bisector, this would be congruent to that. It would be an angle bisector. Well done. Once again, we're not constructing these, but there we go. Any questions there? Hey, we're almost done. Cameron? Wouldn't it be distant? Yeah, well, the, the, the angles would have to be the same. So that, this would mean any point that's on this line is equidistant. So like this point would be equidistant to that and to that, saying it hits at a right angle. Does that make sense? So it's the point that would lie on that angle bisector, any point that would be on it. Make sense? OK, good question. So we those would be the same. So like this length would be equal to that length that they crossed at right angles. I guess I can mark that. OK. Let's try the next step. The next set says locus in space versus a plane. Now, space is three-dimensional. A plane is two-dimensional. Everything we've done so far is two-dimensional. It's on a flat surface. We're dealing with uh, two dimensions. Well, space is a three dimension, so we have that depth we're dealing with. So now, rather than having, you know, in, on a plane, set of points equidistance from a given point, that's a circle. In space, what does a circle look like? Oh, well, yeah, Emily. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a sphere. Okay. Now, it's not always easy for students to draw a sphere. Okay, some of you are really good at it. You'll be happy to know. <laughs> See, happy? Okay. Some of you are still pretty sad about it. I can tell because I'm looking at you. <laughs> Big eye, yeah. If you're, a, um, if you're a Lord of the Rings person, dude, you're freaking out right now. If you start seeing that eye catch on fire and stare at you, that's good. If it starts winking at you, that's really bad. Okay. Yeah, that's a sphere, all right? Happy and sad around it. A sphere. Draw a circle and then make it happy and sad. Mm -hmm. All right. So in space, that's what we've got. If we're dealing with a with a segment, right? So equidistance. When we, were, when we were in a um, plane, whoops, was a track looking thing. Now a three dimensional track, what's a three dimensional track look like? Bethany? Oh, question. <clears throat> Um, I'm not on homework yet. Let's go. I know, but like, because we're talking about how to do it on a plane. But I, I know, I know, we're just sad. Okay, so you're talking about on our assignment, right? Can we wait until we finish this first? Yeah. All right. Chase? Will it have a cylinder? Uh, kind of, except for it would have ends on that cylinder. Right? Yeah, it would look like a pill. Right, yeah. So we draw our track. 
And on the track, we then have at the end, something that looks like that, we have a sideways happy face, right? So you're texting, and then you have your, your frowny face texting. You do that on one side, and then on the same side, you have your happy face, or maybe frowny face, I don't know. I don't know how you make your happies or sad. And then a dash it, you kind of see your three-dimensional tilde. It's pretty neat, though. So you kind of have this pill shape. So now if we're dealing with a, a line, remember we had parallel lines, and we still have to, it's, this thing still has to go on forever. Now that was really bad. Let's try that again. Let me try to finish this one. a little better okay so we have parallel lines to it but it doesn't have the ends on it now okay so at the end here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show that I'm just gonna kind of sideways happy and then I got our frowny okay and then I have this one which actually is kind of opened at the end like I might even shade it in there to show the illusion that it's like the opening of a shape at the end. So it's really blurry, sorry. Okay, so it's like a tube, and this would be a wire running through the tube. Hey. Yeah, like a hollow cylinder, yeah. Good. All right. The last one, last one we're dealing with, is from parallel lines. Now in parallel lines, you gotta think, you guys, a lot of you will have this for lunch today. Yeah, some of you will think of it, yeah, it's a sandwich, right? Except for, we'd be in trouble if our sandwich actually went on forever like this. Yeah, that would be a big sandwich, dude. Some of you are pretty excited about that. You're like, man, that'd be great. Okay, so we have a plane on top. So this line is actually no longer a line, it's a plane. And we show a plane with, with our rectangle. And this bottom one is actually no longer a line, it's a plane. I'm going to make it a kind of a, sh a smaller looking plane. But it's a plane as well. Just so that we can see the picture a little better. And then, so like you have bread and you have bread and then you have like your cheese or something in the middle, maybe your ham and cheese. We're just going to put like a slice of cheese or ham in there. Whatever you want it to be. If you have colors and you want yellow cheese there. If you have white, you could just go white cheese. Maybe you have dark cheese. I don't know. I haven't seen dark cheese. That's kind of gross. Okay. That might not be good. All right. So, and if you want, you can maybe just keep it unshaded. There you go. Yeah. Well, plane, by definition, I mean, we're not showing them the same size, but by definition, planes go on forever. Forever. Oh. Forever. So, I mean, they're three parallel planes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, well, in, on a, on a two-dimensional surface, they were lines. So now we're going 3D, which makes them, 3D makes them planes. Yeah, we're adding that extra dimension. How do we know when to do that? That's a good question. So guys, the key words here for you when you're doing your direction, we're reading your directions today is space, meaning 3D, that's what we've done on this page, versus plane, 2D. 2D was all the other pages. So if it says, like if we're reading these, example one, find the set of points that are equidistant from endpoints in each of the segments. Well, segments, that's a two-dimensional thing. Sketch the locus of points on a plane, so we're now two dimensions. Identify the point equidistance from this. Okay, well, it looks like we're dealing with two dimensions there as well. So if it said, find the, sketch the locus of points in a, in, in space, then you go three dimensional. Yeah, I know, but in, can't lines go through three dimensional? Li lines can, however, when we're dealing with, um, when we're dealing with uh, uh, given conditions that satisfy something, you're, you could have a line in there like we do. 
but the locus of points is three-dimensional. It has to completely surround that line. Right? So if you think of, think of it this way, if your arm is a line, right, you have a locus of points surrounding that line, your shirt sleeve. So what you're doing is you're sketching that locus. The locus of points have to be a three-dimensional sketch. I get that, but with the point that the scholar said, why you turn them into planes? Oh, why did I make these into planes? Yeah. Um, because the, we're, when we're dealing with a, you could make them, you could say it's a line. Yes. If you want to leave these, that's your question then. Sorry, I'm misunderstanding. If you wanted to leave that as lines, that, that plane in the middle would also satisfy that. Okay, so you could leave these two as lines, parallel lines, but you'd still have to have a plane cutting right in between them. Because any, any point on that plane would be equidistance from those lines. Yeah? Um, yeah, so that's a good question. So example one here says set of points that are equidistant from the given segment. That's not so much, but here where it says two centimeters, one inch, five millimeters, I want you to measure that using a ruler. Okay? Here, identify the point equidistance from AB and BC and the given distance. So from AB and BC, we know from two rays, the set of points equidistance is a what? It's a bisector. You need to know which point on that bisector is one centimeter away. You're identifying a point. Logan. Yep, that's what I just said up here. Yeah, you got to measure it away. Actually measure. Use a ruler here. Uh, it depends. What is the locus? Look at your notes. From a point, what's the locus of ray? Question? I can't draw circles, so that's probably, Do your best on it. I it. That's fine. Do your best on it. Hey, what was your question, Bethany? Um, Did I address it? Okay, so look back to our notes, right? So if you're dealing in a plane, what is the locus from what What's our uh, given conditions that satisfy that? Being two millimeter or two centimeters from a point. What does that look like? I'll be walking around. Let me know if you have questions. Okay.